So let me go across to General J.D. Bakshi first. If just for a moment we were to simulate a war game, let's imagine for a moment that the political establishment were to ask Army Headquarters, which in turn asks the Northern Army Command, to prepare a plan to take back Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. And since you spent so much time doing war games, General Bakshi, how yeah. would such a war game play out? Uh, do you think that this is militarily possible given the reality of Pakistan also being a nuclear power? Do you think the Indian Army can go and take back POK? What would it involve? How would you do it? Uh, Rahul, uh, let me first put it in context. What we are witnessing is a very assertive you know, response by the Indian state or an attempt by the Indian state to drastically alter the narrative on Jammu and Kashmir. Sure. So far, we were unduly defensive. We were on the back foot. It was always Pakistan demanding that we vacate, you know, what they called Indian-held Kashmir. And we were, you know, meekly coming out with uh, assertions that showed a weakness of will, the sky is the limit, etc., etc. You remember those, uh, you know, very, very charitable statements emanating. Ever since this government has taken charge, one, we have done away with Article 370, we have done away with 35A, we have ended all ambiguity on India's resolve and will to hold on to Jammu and Kashmir and the new narrative that is very rightly being crafted is look, there is no other Kashmir dispute. The only and only problem is when are when is Pakistan going to vacate illegally occupied POK? Sure. Right? Juridically, we are absolutely in the right. The Maharaja of Kashmir duly acceded to India. It was Mountbatten who tried to foist all sorts of ifs and buts because of their obvious geostrategic interests vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan and Pakistan's role in containing, helping them contain Russia. So, I think it's about time we threw ambiguity out of the window and said, this is the new narrative. There is no question of accepting that we will resign from a stand on Kashmir. If there is any issue left, it is only and only when the hell is Pakistan going to get out of POK. We have made our assertions of will quite, quite patently clear and obvious. Uh, apropos the issue of can we do it? I would rather that, uh, you know, we don't talk of offensive op uh, options. Most senior military officers who have held responsible positions would not like to get involved in uh, discussion of live offensive operations. We can do it in only very general terms. Let me tell you that this was wargamed by the Americans, right? I'm not talking of what we are planning or not planning. Uh, even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. Well, period. I mean, let's be very clear on that. Sure. These are offensive plans, right? I have served quite often there. Uh, so has uh, uh, Ata, my very dear friend. So uh, we have our limitations on this. But I'm discussing with you the Trevor Dupoy war game model for an India-Pakistan conflict in which India goes hell for leather, concentrates most of the strike core elements to the north of, uh, you know, uh, the semi-desert terrain and upwards. And we do make a, a bid to grab in that war game, the American war game, make a bid to grab uh, the whole of, uh, you know, Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. Even as far back in Ravi Rikhi's book, if you remember, on, uh, you know, hypothetical fourth round India-Pakistan conflict, you know, it started with a paradrop in a particular portion of Jammu and Kashmir and uh, you know those kind of things so can we do it or not i would uh, be a little hesitant in that 